Hello there and welcome to Grow Smart with Grow Day. This video is designed to show you how to start growing plants in Grodan. Whether you start with seedlings or cuttings, the process is still the same. I've already cleaned these two trays with a bleach solution to remove any fungi or disease left over from previous uses. Afterwards, I rinse them thoroughly with plain water to remove all chlorine residue. I pre-soak these in pH 5.5 and then put them in my tray. Here is a closer look at this fantastic tray I'm using. It's one of Grow Dan's newer products. It's extremely durable and heavy duty, but the best part is it's dual purpose. Look, you can use this side of the tray for grow blocks, mini blocks or whatever, and you can flip it over and use this side for micro plugs in AOK -okay starters to be placed in individual cells. And this lip, holds the product in the perfect position above the water line. You'll definitely get your money's worth with this top of the line tray. Now some of you people out there squeeze the water out of the plugs. Not a good idea. Naughty, naughty. The plugs are not too wet. Squeezing them just ruins the nice air pockets that the tiny roots will need. Now about plant food. You can always propagate with just water initially. Or you can soak the cubes in a weak nutrient solution, around a quarter strength of the bottle recommendations, or use rock wool soak solution. Now the last thing to do is to clean the table. So I'll rinse down with a bleach solution just like this. Then I'll follow with plain water. and dry it down with a paper towel. Now, is it really necessary to do this much cleaning? Nah, but to be safe, it's best to wash down with a bleach solution. Let's start with seeds. To begin, I have a sophisticated tool for that, a hollowed out pen. It works great. Or opening up a hole a bit so that the seeds will go right to the bottom. Now you cannot count on every seed getting germinated, so it's a good idea to make sure you have about three seeds in each hole to be safe. The question is, do you need to cover up the holes in the cubes? It's not essential, but it's probably a good idea. You take a little piece of the Grodan and you place it over the holes like this. Now for big seeds or slow germinating seeds, it's probably a good idea to just lightly cover the seeds. Next, let's do the cuttings. Dip the cuttings in water, then in rooting powder, and then insert them into the plugs. In place of rooting powder, you can also use rooting gel. Just be careful to gently scrape any excess gel off the cuttings. Too much gel at times can cause stem rot. You can also use the AOKs for cuttings. Just poke them first. For bare root cuttings, it is best to use the macro plugs so you do not damage the root tips. Also remember not to touch the roots. The oil on your skin can damage them. Thin latex gloves work well. Finally, keep in mind that not all plants will root from cuttings, and some have specific requirements. So just search the internet 
and learn how to best propagate your plant before you start. Some plants, for example, pansies, need to be cold to germinate. But for a majority of the plants, a heat mat helps speed up rooting and germination. Plug the heat mat into the thermostat and set the temperature to about 75 to 85 degrees. Then you put your black tray on top of the heating mat. Now we need about a half an inch of water in the bottom of the tray. Make sure the water does not touch the Grodan cubes. The starter tray goes in and leave a few cells open. Place the temperature gauge inside. The heat mat and the empty cells will help the water slowly evaporate and fill the dome with humidity. These fluorescent lights are awesome for propagation and are also very economical to use. About eight to ten dollars a month. Now for the good part. Ugh. I don't do anything for the rest of the week. I don't lift the dome, I don't water, I just need it be. Once the first week is over, I miss the cubes. A little extra on the corners because they tend to dry out first. You can also set a garden hose on mist. Either way, once the seedling has germinated or the cutting is stuck, once you gently tug on it, then it's time to give them some food. Again, remember a quarter strength nutrients. And you place the dome back on for a couple more days. Remember to open the vents so the seedlings can get used to less humidity. Once you see signs of new growth on the cuttings or true leaves on the seedlings, then you can remove the dome completely. Keep the cubes moist until you have roots about one inch below the plug. Notice I still keep the plugs from sitting in the water. Your plants are now ready for transplanting, are potting up, as some might say. More about that in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have found this video to be beneficial to you. For additional information on this and other similar topics, please visit rodan101.com. The video that you have just watched is one of nine topics in the Grow Smart series. To access the others, visit our website now.